Yo, 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 guys. <laughs> Hello again, guys and gals. Today we are going to be learning how to play the fingerstyle arrangement of This Could Be My Last Song, an original song by Frank Watkinson. He's got a dope YouTube channel with tons of awesome covers of awesome songs. I'm so go check it out if you haven't already. I saw the song a few months ago, thought it sounded awesome, but Nowhere on the internet could I find tabs or any information on how to play it. So, and I think a lot of other people have been feeling that way too. So I figured it out. It was honestly quite hard to figure it all out by ear, but I got the tabs for it. I got the chords for it. And we're gonna play through it right now and then come back after to talk about how to do it and how, exactly how I'm thinking about it. So it's just a normal standard tuning song with a capo on the first fret. Uh, and here's the playthrough. I'll see you after. Hello again, now that you've seen the tabs for how to play the song, I'm going to explain to you uh, some more tips and tricks to make it a lot easier. So first things first, let's give numbers to each of the strings so we have ease of communication. Your low E string is going to be six, your A string is going to be five, and then four, three, two, and your high E string is one. So now that we have that established, we're gonna focus on the middle four strings and the fingers we're gonna use are just these three right here, okay? No ring and pinky are used at all uh, in Frank's style of finger picking. We're gonna start on our first chord, G. Do not use your pointer finger when you make the chord. So there's the chord, don't use your pointer finger and make it like this. Um, you'll see why later, we need that to do some little twiddly bits later. And we're only gonna play the middle strings, which are strings five, four, three, and two. That's your from your A string to your B string, the middle four. And here's the pattern. Regardless of the chord you're holding for now, you're gonna play five with the thumb, three with the pointer finger, four with the thumb, and two with the middle finger. So it goes five, three, four, two. Five, three, four, two. Then we switch chords to this chord and do the same thing on the same middle four strings. And now I'm gonna do that for all the chords and you'll see it kind of sounds like a simple shell version of the song, okay? That was just doing the pattern that I just showed you. So that pattern is called Travis picking, okay? It's very, it's very cool sounding and it's the bedrock for this whole song. So after we have the Travis pick down, one way Frank makes the music interesting is let's say we were on this A chord and we wanted to just start Travis picking it. How about instead of going straight into it, we played the bass note five and then, and then with the thumb pointer and middle, all three fingers, we're gonna play notes four, three, and two all at the same time. So it's gonna go bass note, then all of them at the same time. Like that. You hear that happens all throughout the song. And you play them all, and then you go into a Travis pick. So it's dum bon, dun na bun na bun na bun na bun na bun na. You basically do that almost every single time you switch chords. You play the bass note, and then you go like that and play all three. So I don't know what you can call it, like a double hit, double stuff. You hit all the notes at the same time. 
And so that's really important. So now we're gonna expand it a little bit. We're gonna Travis pick on these same chords, but we're gonna change where the bass note lands. The other parts of it are gonna be the same. So here's what I mean. When we're on the G chord, now instead of playing five, three, four, two, we're gonna start and hit the low G. So we're gonna go six, three, four, two, and then we're gonna go five, three, four, two, okay? So it sounds like this, six, three, four, two, five, three, four, two. And do you see how we can alternate them? Okay, so six, three, four. So essentially the bass is doing this. The rule for this is that any chord that involves the low E string, the sixth string, we're going to do that alternating thing when we're in the verse, okay? Um, you can see all this information from the tabs and just figure it out, but really think in terms of Travis picking and alternating where the bass goes. So on the G, it's like that. Alternating. Then when we go to the A minor chord, that doesn't involve the low string, so we just do straight Travis picking. Then when we go to the D7 chord, that does involve, we use our thumb to play the F sharp and we leave the high string open, or that's how Frank plays it. And, and we, we, we do the same pattern we did over the G chord. Alternating. And then on C, that does not involve the low string. So we just do normal Travis picking. So think of it in terms of Travis picking. The whole song is like that. Um, with little variations here and there where instead of hitting the B string, sometimes, like when we're on the A chord, we're gonna hit the one string, the high E string. So that sounds like. Boom, boom, boom. And you can see all that in the tabs. Just, just follow along and think of that as the, the core structure of the song. You're Travis picking, alternating the bass, and occasionally hitting a high note when it says so in the tabs. And one more thing is during the verse, this is like the iconic part of the song, I guess, the intro part. Um, this is where our free pointer finger comes in handy. So we're going to use it for the first fret of the B string or the second string. We're going to play, use it when that note needs to be a different note as stated in the tabs or when we want to do a hammer on. So a hammer on is when you play the string and then you hammer your finger down onto it to bring it up a note. So that's a hammer on. Here's what it sounds like in the context of Travis Pickett. So just practice doing that a little bit, where you just go one, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, hammer on. So that's all there is to it. That's the twiddly bit that gets thrown in there. He just hammers on on that one at the appropriate time. You can deduce it all from the tabs, but just use th these three fingers, focus on that alternating picking, Travis picking thing, and so think of it in Travis picking, hitting all the notes at the same time, alternating the bass note that you are Travis picking with, depending on the chord, and occasionally hitting a high note um, to replace the B string when, it, when it's called for, and occasionally doing the hammer on when it's needed as well. And you'll notice the song is very repetitive in terms of the chords. So if you can play what I played you before, you can figure out the rest of it. That those are the only unique bits. Everything else is just some repetition of what came prior. So practice that, and I hope this video was helpful. Um, shout out to Frank for making an awesome song and blessing the world with his really cool covers. Uh, so if you liked the video, please comment, subscribe, ask for any other song recommendations. I really like figuring out songs by ear and just playing the guitar in general. Um, see you next time.